again everybody today i'm going to teach you how to do the hunter deck but uh, for this tutorial my see my camera is a little bit high so that i can show my uh my these things so basically you're gonna need some thread i actually wanted to wear my green jacket but my jacket is in there and some of my table is white so i cannot you'll be too obvious if i just put the white color thread here so what you can do you can hide a uh, uh, you need a thread that is similar color to the exactly the same to the table and you're going to cut okay I'm going to teach you how to cut you're going to have this amount of your finger just this amount of biting about uh, 3 to 4 cm uh, about this amount then attach it oops okay and you're going to hold it and attach it to your wrist and up to that, your wrist, you're going to use the scissors and cut off the thread. Okay? So, uh, I've cut off the portion of my length, my arm's length, which is this. And second of all, you're going to need a double-sided tape and a scotch tape. Or anything that is sticky enough, but I, I don't have the... You can, the scotch tape is a must and I don't use needle because the needle is a little bit too dangerous and so on. So uh, I'm going to use a double stick tape instead of the wax. So uh, i just get this extra bit off. Okay, so again, you're going to align it about 3 to 4 cm. Yeah, about 3 to 4 cm. Align it to here and you paste. So I'm going to cut scotch tape you're going to uh, do the double scotch unless you have a very gigantic okay. unless you have a gigantic scotch tape you can just use it and cut one length because I got a small one about this length okay I double this length and you're going to okay measure first, treat the four cm, and make sure there's no wind, all right? Oh, oh, my hand is too sticky. Hmm. And. Uh, oh, oh. Nah, sorry for the delay, but my finger is very sticky, I don't know why, but, no, yeah, you know how many time I spend this before I do the performance for you, 30 minutes, okay, just stick right there, like this, once you're done, you're going to take a piece of double sided tape tie it off remove this part and you reach to the end of the of the track and just stick it must be very exact or else it won't work and you're going to roll it up and surround the track so it looks like this Okay, so about this length, and you're going to stick and reach into your jacket and stick this part of the thread about into your arm. Uh -huh. Then it looks very normal because there's no nothing sticking out. Okay, once you're done with that. We're going to need a uh, normal playing cards. Uh, for six, any number of playing cards is all right. I have a full deck of playing cards right here, and you can shove the cards because this thing really hidden in your jacket. No matter how you expose it, you can't open it. Can't show it unless you go and remove your jacket. That's when, okay? Shuffle the cards. Panic spectator. The spectator can shuffle. 
you can shuffle first. Once you're shuffling, you hand the deck to the spectator. While they are shuffling, you're gonna uh, take this piece and shorten and paste it right on your chin there. They say, all right, go ahead, choose any card. They take a look at their card and just then take a look at the card as a turnover. So they take a look at their card, which is in this case is the nine of diamonds. And you're gonna tell them and as you turn back, you're gonna tell them to sign the card. So while they're signing the card, you tell them to do it nice and slowly. When you're signing the card, you take out the, the double sided tape and you paste it to one side. Like this. To the okay. It looks like this. So this is the track with scotch tape, the one the longer side of the left deck, or left side of the of you. Then you take the first card of the pile and put it to the bottom, align it with the other decks, and you press a little bit on the double sided tape, sorry, sticks. So you've done this, you do this very quickly and very fast in less than 60 seconds or less than 20 seconds. So you do this very fast because the spectator is going to be signing a card. Then while if you don't have time, you're going to delay even more by telling the spectator to, to show the other audience if you have more. Then once you're done with that, you're going to do, okay, because this is really stick down there, you can show this part. You can hide the thread by doing this, covering it. Then you turn it, okay, this is a normal card over here. Again, you're going to need this at the very low part. Uh -huh. You put the Queen of Diamonds at the top of the pack. You cut the deck about half and you can, stick, you can cut more. And by this time, do not let the spectator touch the deck anymore. Okay. You can cut the deck how many, how many times they like. And now you can use a light to shine on it. Okay. Here's a close up. Ooh, that's a coincidence. Okay, so uh, you can have the light out there, which is bright white because you're not other, you don't want other color because the white color will be exposed. And so you're going to talk about shadows while you take, while you move the deck. Okay, so you put your hands near the deck first and you start by doing this okay then you show the cut and there's one more way one more way what is that way it's very simple you put the deck at your opposite hand like this which opposite hand which don't have the track you start by okay, your card right. Then you start by like grab, singly grabbing the card, and just pull out. And there you go. So this is how the routine, and they're gonna show you that in fast motion. So I'm gonna show you that. Okay, just pretend that I haven't put the wax yet. All right. I'm gonna show the card. Right, the clubs. You're going to cut the deck and just singly. There you go. So anyways, that's my hunted deck card trick and I will see you next time on YouTube.